Wrestling World Up Nation Tournament. With Sphinx remaining idle since last summer, all of the attention has been focused on Mike Tyson, the WBA champion. When the idea of trying to unify the heavyweight title came to fruition, this young man, Mike Tyson, was really an outsider. Suddenly, with his victory over Trevor Burbick, he's the WBA champion, and next faces James Bonecrusher Smith in an effort to become the one and only heavyweight champion. It may be the first real test for this youngster, just 20 years of age. He feels that he'll be a winner again. But James Bonecrusher Smith has other ideas. I don't see anything helping him. You know, he feels he can just come out there and walk through me. I think he's doing, making a big mistake. It's going to come down to who can survive, who can throw the most punches and the hardest punches, and, uh, and I predict the one to fight. Well, I think I have the advantage because I have more experience in, in going the distance. I've been in with tougher fighters, and you know, I know how to survive in there, and uh, I, I think the longer the fight goes, the better my chances of winning the fight. Michael Spencer came from the light heavyweight ranks to win one of the three heavyweight crowns, Larry Holmes' IBF title, is the man who is scheduled to meet the winner of Smith and Tyson. However, it now appears that he may be out of the tournament altogether. Tony Tucker wants his opportunity at Spinks' IBF title. Whether that fight comes off remains to be seen, but Tony Tucker thinks he can win that crown. I cannot wait. I want you. I want you. A combination again by Cooper. And blood from the nose is the win. And then there's Burt Cooper, like Mike Tyson, coming from outside these ranks, suddenly now a factor in the heavyweight picture. And then there's Jerry Cooney, who despite his inactivity, may wind up in a fight with Spinks. But the biggest fight of the year will feature this man, Sugar Ray Leonard, challenging for Marvin Hagler's crown. This is a fight that I've always wanted uh, with Hagler. It's a fight that I always felt that was inevitable. Uh, this is only a continuation of my career. This is like the final chapter and of my, uh, my book. I've done it all and I've beaten everyone out there. And uh, I was glad that I needed a new challenge and someone that can get me up for this fight. And fighting a guy like a Sugar Ray Leonard, it, that'll get you up because I like them pretty boys anyway. I like to smash their face. <laughs> Well, Gil, we'll be there for that big fight, of course, and on April 4th, two days before, Donald Curry now campaigning at 154 pounds, a junior middleweight against former champion Carlos Santos. Curry, if he wins, looks good. He suddenly could be maybe the next man in this middleweight picture. Well, Tim, he's in with a former world champion, Carlos Santos. He's a cute southpaw. If he can look good with Santos, he's right back where he was before he was beaten by Honigan. Well, in terms of the heavyweights that we saw there earlier, is Bone Crusher Smith the man who will finally certify Mike Tyson as legitimate? Tim, he's well-conditioned, active, and trained by Emil Griffith. If Tyson beats him, he's legitimate. All right, well, we'll be finding that out. That fight comes up on March 7th. We'll be back here at Convention Hall in Atlanta. For his home crowd, the crowd here will be raucously and unanimously uh, behind.